Is SD-WAN too good to be true? Now, I tweeted about this during the week, and it's kind of an interesting question in the sense that um, there are definitely reasons to believe that SD-WAN is too good to be true if you look at it from the point of your customer. I can come along and say, I'm no longer dependent on a single supplier for WAN bandwidth. I can replace my routers with low-cost x86 boxes. Uh, I can change the nature of the network, you know, because it's all overlays, I can reconfigure overlays on the fly at very low risk because I'm not changing the actual underlay itself. Uh, I'm not dependent on a particular technology type, I can use 4G or 3G, I can also use MPLS if I want, you know, committed bandwidth, or I can use public internet of any sort that I wish to have, whether it's uh, broadband, whether it's dedicated internet, it doesn't really matter what type because the overlay runs over any of the different types. Uh, at the same time, when you buy your SD-WAN solution, you end up with a very interesting situation where you get your monitoring for free. It's built in that all of these SD-WAN solutions have pretty much got a management engine which sits on-prem so it reaches out to all the devices and configures them, or it's in the cloud, doing stuff in the cloud. And so there's a whole bunch of different ways that that might work. Uh, and that comes for free. And then increasingly, those companies are actually doing it um, with analytics built in. So they're actually building in analytics so that you can get visibility on things like utilization, performance, access, all those types of things. So when you go out and see customers and you're, you're sitting there and they're talking about it, they actually just don't believe it. It sounds too good to be true. I can get free of my bandwidth. I don't have to kowtow to my WAN provider. It's lower cost. Replace my network. Oh, but replacing my network is hard. Oh no, not so much. Because of the way that uh, SD-WAN solutions have been implemented, they use zero provisioning. That is, you connect them to the, uh, the internet connection at the site, they wake up, they register with the cloud platform, and boom, they're pretty much configured. And asset management is done in part of that as well. As soon as it's registered on the system, you know the code, you know the serial number, you know the box and all that sort of stuff. And to some extent, I even know where it is because the public IP can be registered in GOIP databases. So in a lot of ways, SD-WAN actually sounds too good to be true. It really, you know, does all these things that solves all of these problems. And there's a whole bunch of issues that extend out of that. And I think I need to do more thinking about that, probably some more talk.